Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 Brave New World as Hungary. So, I decided to buy that Observatory in Budapest. It will give me quite a lot of extra science and it will save me 19 turns of construction time that I'll be able to use for something else. Let's do it then. It's a little bit expensive, but it's definitely worth it. So, that's 151 science. Now I can focus on building other things. I'm about to finish researching machinery, so I'll definitely need to build our own works. In fact, that will have to be the number one priority. Also, one of the problems in this game right now is that I don't have any AIs with a lot of wonders anywhere close to me. One of the wonder spammers is Canada and their capital is all the way to the north. Another wonder spammer are the Franks and their capital is on the other side of the world. And the third one is Prussia which is pretty much the easiest civilization to reach for me, but their capital is not coastal. It does have a lot of wonders, however. So I'm actually considering going after Prussia next to take their capital with all these wonders. They will definitely help a little bit later in the game. It's definitely not realistic to take this city or this city. That's not going to happen. Not to mention I kind of want to keep good relations with Canada for now, even though they didn't actually sign another declaration of friendship. But either way, I'm actually considering going after Prussia. And it seems Prussia is isolated, I'm not sure if they are on their own island. I'm not sure if the Franks are on the main continent and if this is connected to the main continent. But I think they are actually on their own island. Either way, Prussia might be my next target. I will upgrade this Charim to a caravel and go scout their area around a little bit. But I need to wait to get enough money for that. It's 200 something gold. Alright, so Ironworks. Yeah, Ironworks will have to be the number one priority, but I might actually wait for that lighthouse. Yeah, I think I'll wait for that, but Ironworks will have to be queued up right after that. It will take a lot of turns, but I definitely need that in my capital. I'm also strongly considering using the great engineer for a manufactory. I need to boost production in my capital. So I will probably do it. There's no wonder that I could rush. So it's definitely the best use of the great engineer right now. Also, I don't want that archer to fire at my Sharim. I could go here and then go out of range of it. No, I can't. I have to move through here, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, then. So now I might or might not go after the Vandals. I haven't decided yet. As for these trade routes, yeah, Danzig will be the best one. I could take this city, but I don't think it has any wonders. Well, I, I guess it has one. What kind of wonders do the Vandals have? Let's see... Oracle... Yeah, I think this might be the Oracle. But it's not so useful. Still, I have a pretty big land army parked already, so I might take this city. I mean, it does have, what, three luxuries? And it's a pretty good city, all things considered. It has three tiles with wheat in range. That's pretty good. But if I want to go after them, I will probably have to get chemistry, to get cannons. Or maybe I don't, because it only has 27 combat strength. I could probably do it without chemistry. It would obviously help. I would almost definitely need musket men, though. Unless I just use horsemen to capture the city, but then I would have no mid shields for my chevouches. And that's usually not so good. So, what about this worker? I guess I should get some mines around here. I could get a mine on this desert hill. That's workable by both of these cities. Seems like a good idea. So how's that great engineer? Three more turns. I could always save him for later. I could save him for the porcelain tower. And that's my other option. What? Mexico wants me to denounce Norway. I guess I can do it. I can actually sell some World Congress votes to Mexico. And I should probably do that. The World Congress is coming in seven turns. So let's check it out. Where's Mexico on this list? There they are. So the World's Fair. I can probably sell the World's Fair for a reasonable price. No? No, it doesn't look good to me as is. Do they want to vote against it? No, they don't. Okay, they are not willing to pay me for anything. 
Yeah, open borders. I don't need your open borders. They are willing to pay for this. Can I trade with anyone else? I don't really have the creation of friendship with anyone else anymore. Which is a little bit annoying. Alright, so let's sell this. That's always better than nothing, I suppose. 80 gold. No, I'm not giving you open borders. 5 gold per 10, 4 gold per 10. 3, 2, 1. No? 80 gold? Really? Okay, let's try less. He wanted my open borders, so I guess he doesn't value it as much. Is it really worth selling my Voz for 50 gold? Not really, it's not. I'll pass. Okay, let's upgrade this when I get to my territory. I can upgrade it here, I suppose. I will take some damage from that archer, but whatever. Let's just upgrade it. And grab that mine. I'm a little bit torn about that great engineer. I could definitely use a porcelain tower. And it's still available. No one built it, I already checked. Whatever you say, dude. He wanted to declare war on the Vandals, really? Okay, I didn't think he's strong enough to actually do that. But maybe he is? I mean, he lost his capital. That's the guy right here. Whatever floats his boat. I'm a little bit worried about the world's fair because I'm kind of busy in most of these cities. I'm not sure if I have enough time to actually dedicate production to it. But I'll kind of have to. Also, I'm going to get rid of that archer because he's really getting on my nerves. And I can't repair my caravel around here with that archer. So, yeah, I'm just going to kill him and spread my units around a little bit. I should just go into the cities because that will save me a tiny little bit of money since I do have tradition. So you go here. What about this guy? Maybe I should buy this silver tile, but I, yeah, I don't actually have enough money to do that at the moment. All right. I need this Mexican scout to get out of there. I also need to get the ship to the east. And the borders will expand to this useless plane style. Instead of the ship to the east, which is clearly a better tile. So yeah, I think the border expansion is only taking the base terrain into account. And not resources that are on that terrain, I don't know. It's a little bit odd that it would spread to plains and not to a desert hill with ship. That's clearly a better tile. I mean, especially with stables in this city. So, I don't know, it's weird. There's the great engineer. So, I can either save him... Oh, I can't even attack that archer with the cavalry, right? Because this stupid Mexican scout is blocking the way. I need a ranged unit in there. So, I guess the trebuchet will have to be enough. You go here. And you go here. Alright, looks good. Well, I should move this around a tiny little bit more. I do have two great generals, so if I decide to attack this city, I could use a citadel, maybe. We'll see. I could probably take it without a citadel. So, do I start the manufactory or not? I'm a little bit undecided. Did anyone actually build the Sistine Chapel? I did not check that one. Let's see. I don't see it on the list. It might still be available. I think it might still be available. So I could rush that if I want to. Still, I could definitely use that manufactory. I'll save him for now and see if the Sistine Chapel is actually available. So, unit upgrades, 145 gold. I guess I should do that. I mean, I'll have to do it eventually anyway. So, might as well do that now. What about Budapest? Where's that new worker? Yeah, he should go up here. And the other city was... Estergom. Colosseum will be done soon. I actually want to get the Grand Temple in my capital. Speaking of faith... Hmm. I could... Grab a great prophet to spread my religion a little bit, but... I won't benefit from it all that much. I could spread my religion to the Vandals a bit. I think I'll let that great prophet generate. I could convert this city, these two cities, and maybe this one. Does Canada have their own religion? Yeah, they do. No, they actually don't. Okay, it's easier to just check it like that. War religions. 
The Vandals do not have a religion, neither does Canada. So it's safe to convert their cities, it won't upset them. I should probably do it, to be honest. It will always give me a little bit of extra money, because I do have tithe. Yeah, I think I'll do it. And if I manage to convert the majority of the Vandal cities, then I would get a diplomatic boost with them. They do have quite a few cities, I would probably need two Great Prophets, so it's probably not worth doing that. But I'll grab that Great Prophet anyway. I need a Great Prophet to actually convert Yerevan, which I definitely want to do. No, I'm not giving you open borders. I should probably annex these cities sometime soon also, I need to bring a worker to repair this. I actually have a worker in Estergom that's not doing anything at all. I might annex one of these cities once I'm done with the Colosseum. Because I'm down to free happiness, that's not a lot. Right. Let's explore. Oh, there's some island to the south. That's one tile island, apparently. Is this farm done yet? Yes, it is. Finally. And now I'm out of tiles to improve. I need my borders to expand. The trebuchet is coming. Let's just park on top of that hill. And that archer will finally go down. <laughs> After a 2000 year standoff between the archer and the Mexican scout. Epic. Yeah, so much for Sistine Chapel. I didn't even get a chance to boost it. I'm just going to grab that manufactory. It's definitely going to be useful and it will speed up the iron works significantly. I will always get more great engineers later. Let's check this out. Yeah, that's just a tiny island. Right, let's do this then. I'll get that manufactory on top of the hill. This is actually in range of that city too. So I could decide to work that manufactory in any of these two cities. Based on what I need. Okay, let's reset this to production. That's 13 turns for Iron Works. That's much more reasonable than before. Yep. And this city will still grow at a reasonable pace. Well, actually it won't. But I could switch these assignments around a little bit more. Actually, hold on. Let's just redo all of these. And see if we can make this city grow. And also get Iron Works in reasonable time. I definitely want to lock all of this, because that's faith and culture. I need the floodplains. I need any tile with more than two food. The manufactory for sure. That leaves me with two unemployed citizens. If I work these two tiles, then I'll get around works in 16 turns and the city will grow in 14. Or I can do it like this to get more gold per turn. Do I prefer gold per turn? It will still grow in 14. So, that's three extra gold per turn at the cost of making the city grow two turns slower. I think I prefer the extra gold per turn. So, that's going to be it. 16 turns for ironworks, 16 turns for city growth. I think it's reasonable. I don't even have to work this workshop slot anymore, but I want to get some progress towards the next great engineer. I'll get him later in the game in industrial or modern era. So, that will happen. Meanwhile, let's get rid of that guy. He will die on the next turn. Let's repair this. Alright, that Colosseum will be done on the next turn. I think I'll annex this city once the library is done. I could use another decent coastal city for sure. So, that's one option. I actually have plus six tourism right now. And four of that is from stolen great works. Or at least two of that is from Stolen Great Works, because I did get Great Works in Yerevan. Okay. Borders. Oh yeah, right here, so I can actually improve that now. I might get a trading post here. Hmm. Yeah, let's grab at least one trading post, just in case I'll actually need it. Bye. Okay, finally he's dead. Trade route. I think I have better trade routes in Budapest. Let's actually... Have a look at the list. I don't have to guess. Yep. Actually, no. This city, really? Interesting. That's 15 gold per turn. Okay. I guess I'll work that one then. That's definitely the best option. Although this is almost exactly the same. And it's a little bit safer. 
Yeah, I'll just continue this one. It seems to be a little bit safer. Let's explore. I think Prussia will have to be my next target. If only to take all of these wonders. These are not the most useful wonders ever, but they do have Notre Dame and they do have Petra. This city will pay for itself in terms of happiness quite easily. The Notre Dame alone is definitely worth it, I think. See, it's not only I won't lose happiness to get this city, I will actually gain happiness. I would obviously prefer to take this city instead. I think they have Forbidden Palace in their capital. At least Canada was the one that built it, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Where's Canada? Yep, they have Forbidden Palace, so that's probably in their capital. And I can steal something. That's from Prussia. I could steal banking. That's actually a pretty good idea. I could steal banking and then go for architecture. I need to get industrialization one way or the other. So banking is definitely a good idea. Yeah, let's steal banking. So there we go. I'll keep that spy in Prussia unless they ask me to not spy on them. As for the World Congress, I might as well vote for the World Sphere because it's not like it's going to fail. Yeah, let's just vote for the World Sphere. Alright, now I'll have to switch my cities. Oh, I didn't assign my specialists in here. Right. Let's do it now then. How is it going to work? Like this. Yep, looks good to me. The city will grow in three turns. I think all of my universities have specialists now, yep. Except this one, but this one is not actually done yet. So, World's Fair. Oh, Canada declared war on the Vandals. Alright. Seems like a good moment to declare war myself. Oh, okay, he discovered my spy. Whatever, I'll send my spy elsewhere. Let's take a look at the tech ranking. The Franks. The Vandals are the second most advanced civilization, really? Okay. That's where my spy is going then. That's an easy choice in that case. Let's sort this by population. What's their biggest city in this one? Oh, that's the city that I actually want to attack. That's not such a good idea then. What's their capital anyway? That's their capital. I guess I should send my spy there then. There it is. Off you go. And I got my great prophet. So let's spread our religion a little bit. And I have to get started on the World's Fair. I don't really like it, but I definitely want at least the silver reward. Or well, I want silver reward specifically. It's not like I have a chance to win gold. Definitely not with this kind of production. World's Fair. And World's Fair in here. I'm not going to wait for that lighthouse. There we go. Hopefully I can get enough hammers. I'll just send Trebusheba quest. The horseman can always get to the front lines fast enough. I should upgrade him actually. Okay then. I need 525 hammers for this. I'm not sure if I'll have enough time to get that. Using 4 cities only. But I suppose I'll get the bronze reward at least. I would really like to get the free social policy. That would actually help me quite a bit right now. Because I could use that to unlock rationalism, which I didn't do yet. I might try to hard build the porcelain tower. That's something I'm considering. It shouldn't be too hard to do it. I don't think any of the AIs actually have rationalism. They might have the opener, but they don't have any policies in the rationalism. Oh yeah, I can't actually go through here, damn it. I could just send this great prophet like this. That's actually going to be faster than going all the way around. I could totally build a road there, but nah. That's a bit of a waste of gold. I won't be doing that. So how's my progress? 15 and hammers and it's 3% completed. 10 gold per 10? Are you crazy, dude? I'm not giving you 10 gold per 10. What do I look like? A charity? Definitely not. Yeah, the Vandals have Masked Men, as expected. I'm actually a little bit surprised that they are the second most advanced civilization. I'll definitely have to attack them. 
I should probably take at least that city right next to me because it will give me free luxuries. And now I'll go back to faith buying units. Right, we'll go through here. I still need to get this silver. I suppose I could buy it, which is probably worth it. Oh, this mine is almost done, so might as well finish it. I could speed this up by switching the city to full production, which might or might not be necessary. No, I don't think it will be necessary. Oh yeah, I don't have embassy because they denounced me. <laughs> More wars. Yes, that's actually good. The Franks declared... Oh, everyone is declaring war on the Vandals. What? Norway declared war on me? They don't even have a border with me. What? That was a little bit weird. Okay, I should probably be careful with that caravel then. But that was very strange. Maybe someone asked them to declare war on me. Oh, hey, natural wonder. Do they have any quests from city-states? Or natural wonders? Speaking of city-states, there are still more city-states that I should find. I'm at war with all these city-states, unfortunately, but I don't think any of them are actually relevant. The only city-state that I have a border with is this one. And they are not allied with anyone. Do I want to give them 250? Yeah, I guess I kind of have to because I'm in negative happiness. And they do have spices. Yeah, I'm actually a little bit worried about the happiness right now. I'm at plus 2 happiness only. That's not a lot. I might have to trade for some luxuries. I think I'll have to do that. Yeah, I can trade silver for amber. What? Really? He wants to trade that? Wow. I might have to pay extra to make that happen. What does he want from me? Really? He wants all of that? For gold per 10? No. Wow, this is not a fair trade. Not at all. Yeah, this is definitely not worth doing. I'd rather sell the silver for gold per 10. And then just buy improvements or build improvements that give me happiness. Incense. Yeah, he doesn't even have a lot of money. What about... Yeah, Armenia won't give me a fair trade. Mexico, you're my only hope. They won't buy anything. They will buy horses. I guess I should probably do that. So let's do it. That's going to be 3 gold per 10 most likely. No, 2 gold per 10. I can sell more votes. They want to embargo the Vandals. No. I don't want to ban wine. Why would I want to do that? Are they the ones who want to ban it? Okay, he's not willing to pay for any of these votes. Now, I don't really need extra luxuries just yet. But I have a feeling I'm going to need them soon. Oh nice, my religion spread on its own. Very good. I won't be annexing these cities right now because of my happiness. It will be a bit of a problem. I have to build more colosseums in my cities. What? Canada declared war on me. Okay. That was unexpected. That was very unexpected. I think most of these new AIs hate warmongers. That seems to be the case. I'm pretty sure that's the reason why Canada attacked me. I'm not sure about Norway. But Canada definitely hates warmongers. So I got acoustics. I should get some military techs right now. That's definitely a good idea. Okay, what was I going to do with this guy? Oh yes, send him to get the silver. As for research, oh yeah, I got a policy. So now we can unlock rationalism. As for research, yeah, I should get steel. That's only four turns. I might need to get some frigates. Let's research steel first and then we'll decide after that. But I think I'll need navigation. If I want to attack Prussia, then I'll definitely need navigation. And the problem with Canada declaring war on me is that I lost two trade routes. And I can't really do anything about that right now. Yeah, that was really annoying. And I can't really get anyone else to declare war on them. Hmm. Will he give me a good deal? Maybe. Will he give me 7 gold per 10? No. 6? I could actually try to get friendly with this guy. That's not the worst idea ever. I'm already friendly with him. Hey, will he agree to the creation of friendship? No. But I could get friendly with him. And then attack others with him as my ally. It's not the worst idea ever. He seems to be one of the few warmonger AIs in this game. And warmongers usually don't hate other warmongers. So I'd be able to actually stay friendly with them. Oh, damn it. 
Well, I just lost... No, I didn't lose anything yet, but I'll have to give them more gold. Right. Let's make sure we'll stay allied. I don't like this too much. I should upgrade that composite bombman. Yeah, I should definitely do that. Did they pillage my... Yes, they did. And I don't have enough money. I need to wait one more turn. Okay, we'll wait. Do I need any forts around here? I would have to replace useful farms, so no. City-state? Oh yeah, I'm actually at war with that city-state. That's not good. I might actually lose that caravel. I'm probably going to lose it. I am at war with that city-state. I need to get out of here. Fortunately that... Oh yeah, silver. Do I have excess silver again? Anyway, fortunately that trebuchet is not in range. Let's get out of here and maybe go south. There are still some more city states that I need to find. I didn't find all of them yet. Now upgrade this. This tile will have to wait. I think I only needed 90 gold to buy that. So I will have that on the next turn. I will actually have exactly 95. How's my progress? 419 hammers. And it's only 15% completed, really? Are the other AIs actually not working on the World's Fair? Interesting. I would actually have a chance to get the gold reward if they are not working on it. Not sure if I want to waste my time for that though. Let's convert this. Can I get open borders with the Vandals? Because I actually kind of need that. If I want to convert their cities. Okay, I can. That's going to make it much easier. So... Oh yeah. I almost forgot about this. Right. Like this. Looks good to me. Alright. Next. I need to finish the Iron Works as soon as possible. And then probably start building up a fleet. I'm almost considering actually attacking Canada now that they declare war on me. Problem is, it's going to be hard taking their capital. It's not a coastal city. But I have two potential targets right now. Prussia and Canada. How's my spy doing? 37 turns. That's a little bit too much. I'm going to move that spy to Canada. Maybe it will be a little bit faster to steal text from there. It should be faster because their capital is 25 pop. Let's buy this tile now. Okay, that silver will, will probably pay for itself. So let's go and convert these cities. It's actually very possible to be friendly with the Vandals. If I convert most of their cities to my religion, I would be very friendly with them. And so much for my work boss. Oh well. I guess it happens. 490 hammers. I don't think any of the AIs are actually working on the World's Fair. It's only 18% completed. I would have a chance to get the gold reward. I'm almost considering going for it. Problem is, I won't benefit from it all that much. I'm only getting 44 culture per 10, which is not amazing. But it's an option. I can do it if I want to. So, go here. Do we have enough hammers? 559 hammers. So, I should either switch all of my production or keep going to get the gold reward. It's only 20% completed. I think it's pretty obvious that the AIs are just not working on it. I don't think the gold reward is worth that much production. Because, I mean, come on, I really need iron works in my capital. I think I'll decide that in the next part. So, this one is done. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.